Hi right, guys, George here, and I'm back. Today, guys, I have for you a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay, where I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to improve in the game mode search if you don't play this game mode a lot and you maybe want to get into it. Anyway, guys, in this map, I'm playing on the map Terrace. This map is my favourite map. I just love it. It plays so well. It's in Greece, so that's an extra bonus. And I swear, guys, I'm telling you, when I play on this map, I need to be nerfed. This is the biggest conspiracy when I play on this game because I just destroy everyone. COD needs to bring out a patch for me. They need to patch me when I play on this map. The bow doesn't need to be patched. I need to be patched instead of the bow. I'm so overpowered in this map. Um, anyway guys, enough of this. Let's get into the gameplay. Um, so first you guys are probably wondering which perks do you guys need to use which will help you um, succeed in the, the game mode search and destroy. Well, there's three vital perks that you know, I recommend all players to use. The first one is low profile. I reckon it's the one that it, you must always use. You know, and there's always people that don't use it, and that's better for me because I use my UAV with support, and I will kill them you know, if, if they don't use low profile because you just you sharpen the radar when people um, um, call their UAV. So low profile is the first one that I recommend everyone that this this perk is probably the one that you always have to put on your SMG classes. The second perk is um, blind eye. This perk is also very useful because it um, hides you from um, kill kill streaks and also hides you from tracking drones. And you know a lot of people run the tracking drones who play search a lot. They know how to use the tracking drones are really effective. So I recommend using um, the blind eye because jacking drones are abused in the game mode search and destroy. So you know when you have blind eye it, it keeps you hidden from tracking drones. And the third perk is blast suppressor. This perk is also a, um, a essential in search and destroy. In all game modes I recommend blast suppressor. You know, I don't know why you wouldn't pick Blast Suppressor because if you don't use it, you're going to be jumping around and the whole opposition can just see you where you are on the map. So always use Blast Suppressor. With these three perks combined, it gives you a really stealthy class layout. You know, one of the things that Search and Destroy is that you want to be stealthy. Through doing that, you can outskill your opponents so they won't see where you are. So, you know, these three perks, are, are, this is my opinion, I recommend to always use in search and destroy. Okay now, so now to attachments. Which attachments should you guys use which will help you in search and destroy? I recommend firstly is suppressor. You guys may say, oh, but people use par parabolic microphone, but still not much people use it. And it's still going to give you an advantage on the people who don't use that attachment. And you know it's going to keep you disguised. My second perk is parabolic microphone as well. I can see people who don't use suppressor and it's advantage. I can see the whole team who don't, the whole team, even if they use suppressor or not when they shoot. And my third attachment is the all perk that we, oh sorry, the attachment that we all love, and that's full grip. I always use it. Great attachment. It's so useful in this game. It, it does such much. Um, it helps out. To reduce recoil so much in this game and I always put it in all my classes and now guys so with my my um, class setup I normally don't run my exo suit ability you can run cloak but you know I don't really recommend it I never use exo suit abilities I don't use semtexes I just pop on my one um, kill streak as you can see here I've got a multiple kill streak but I wasn't high level in this in this in this gameplay, but what I recommend is just put on maybe the UAV, run that with support, put on um, faster so when like it refreshes your radar quicker. Um, also scrambler or threat grenade or threat protection, and you know it's really really useful for you and your team if you use it on support because you can die and you still have it. And then secondly, I would also run um, sorry, scavenger with my blast, blast suppressor, so I would use perk 3 greed. And also with my perk 2, I would use perk 2 greed as well, and I put on peripherals 
with blind buy and I'll also run low profile. So basically you got your gun, you know, with your free attachments, you got your around there, you got your couple of perks, you've got more perks than probably most people that you come up against. Um, so that's also extremely useful. You know, not semtexes and grenades aren't really useful in this game. You could drop a attachment or a um, perk for possibly a tracking drone. But you know, I play with full parties nearly all the time. I play with my clan, and my clan runs tracking drones. So you know, I don't really run the tracking drones. It, and also now in this game, I want to talk about the the um, styles that you can play search and destroy. As you can see, in this one I play the more camping, locking down spawn um, style, but it's also the rushing um, style that you can play search and destroy. And I'm going to be bringing out a video um, very shortly on how to um, rush teams and search and destroy, get behind the defenses, you know, wipe out teams. But let's talk about the more locking down the spawn. So as you can see, in this gameplay throughout the whole gameplay I run down this pool area and I sit around behind this ta table camping like a boss very good camping and as you can see I just look down this area they all camp in that little park I aim through that little hole sometimes as well and you know it's a really um, good spot for search to lock down your opposition because you know you may get those teams like in this game that keep on going up there and if you get into those games you just go into that spot you keep on picking them off and that's what I do in this game I'm very patient I wait for them I know that they're gonna be there and I take them out and then you can see me when um, I'm on the other side I camp in that building and they try to do what I do and I take them out from the left side and on the right side especially in search and destroy on terrace I advise you to use that area to look out um, it's really useful because on the other side, um, where I kill people from in this round, um, you can see your left, you can see the middle part, and you can see the right part, and it's really good, um, good area to lock down um, the spawn, um, kill people from their spawn. So now, as you can see here, yeah, what I mean is this building on our right here. But I, um, you have to be aware of people like me, who's on your left, that. Um, try to kill people who take advantage of this lookout system up here. But anyway guys, I hope you like this search and destroy video. Something a bit, something a bit different, some tips and tricks. Um, I'm going to be bringing out that rushing um, search and destroy gameplay and I hope you look forward to that. But anyway guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, favourite. I'm just going to run a bit of music in the background. I'm going to have all the, um, I'm going to have around 10 minutes to talk about. But anyway, I hope you um, enjoy it. I'm going to be bringing out my first vlog. On Saturday, I'm going to the A-League, so that's going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to be giving out, I'm going to be bringing out a vlog of LA United vs. West Sydney Wanderers. So you guys um, look forward to that. And as always, remember, relax and have a Euros, and I'll be back. Catch you guys.